Welcome to Boone Pickens Stadium, Stillwater, Oklahoma, home to the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. Pistol Pete, ready to start firing those pistols for the battle we have in store. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the back, the Northern Illinois Huskies. Taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Oklahoma State Cowboys. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Huskies offense is on the field for the first time today. And here he comes. This offense is built completely around the talents of this running back, a rare commodity in today's game, and all eyes are on it. And the defense knows it, too. You know every single snap this defense is going to be keying on this running back, knowing that he is the key to the offense's success. He leaves it with his back. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They'll need three yards here on third down to keep this opening drive alive. They'll try to get the first through the air. Going to throw it over the top of the D. Oh, he can't hang on to the football. A big play sitting right there for the taking, and they can't get it done early in this one. First one of the day is on its way, and he's been sort of scarce around here, only called on one time in that loss last week. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. So the Oklahoma State Cowboys offense has its first opportunity of the day. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their open runway ahead. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. That was a lightning-fast drive that ends with a touchdown. If you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of score. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. On the move from inside is five. And the coverage team gets to return her on the ground. Here comes the offense on first down. The give to the tailback. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They go to the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed in the middle. It's Thomas. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. Northern Illinois right back to the line. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Fires to the big fella. 
And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try. And he intercepts it. Takes it the other way. Didn't really get a chance to get started on that return, but he has set him up at the 41-yard line. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good covering corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with the Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Hoffman. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. Quick strike touchdown comes out and jump starts the offense. And man, we see this in college football. So much explosiveness and firepower. And we get high scoring game after high scoring game. And it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point makes it 14 0. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. UCLA was relentless today in a road win that, frankly, wasn't even as close as the final score indicates. This was a vintage Bruins performance, one that really should instill confidence within this program. He'll do it himself. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Tackled, but he has a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Then ranches out of the stands early, and it's a false start. False start. Offense. Offense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. They try to pop a run on the draw. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the court. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to... And he can't escape, and down he goes. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and they can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. They've got the screen set up. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Northern Illinois will line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Let's see what he can do with it. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. 
And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Blast it as he lets it go. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. Yeah, this offense might want to think about moving the launch point for this QB, because if you take hits like that from the pocket, it's really tough to complete passes. They've got the big fellas out there, a three tight end look on first and ten. The give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Well, we know this offense obviously really struggled their last time out, and they knew coming into this one they would have to be better at running the football, and that just has not happened in this game. They're simply not physical enough offensively at this point. They'll try to pop the draw. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. And the Huskies will line it up on first and ten. They'll leave it with him. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Win with the running game on first down. Now back at it. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Got his man in the middle. They make the stop at the 37, but not before. He's got 10 yards and the first down. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Throwing right. Got his man. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. DB's right up on the receivers. They ripped off a huge chunk, and now a little chunk is needed to pay it off. Looking for the score! Touchdown, Huskies! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Big-time touchdown there to get some much-needed momentum. You got to find something, right? Who are you going to go to to make that big play to get you back into it? You're not back in it yet. It's not, it's not tied. You're not there yet, but you're starting to inch back into it and get some momentum going. He'll try to tack on one more. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. Snags it quickly on the left. They get it out to the 36 and on the move after a pickup of 15. The Cowboys come to the line in the hurry up. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Quickly complete. Really nice job there by both guys, the throw and the catch, to work that defense and get the first down. Takes the handoff. It's Fields. They'll knock him down behind the line, and that's how we'll end this quarter. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Oklahoma State has the lead here. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Running back, searching for a hole. And 
get a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he has to throw for it. That is just a sideline play. Oh, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now, you got to figure out what they're doing. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. The give to the back. Across the 25, he's got room. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. They'll throw it from the red zone. Going for six. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Now on second down. Well, the game plan's been pretty simple offensively, right? They are taking shots, and they're being aggressive throwing it down the field. This guy's already got two touchdown passes. We're still in the first half. And on that last one, he was looking for number three. On third down, he drops to throw. He's got Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. Not much room. He gets one down to the seventh. Third and goal from way back there. From the gun, wants to pass. Might be looking to run. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And he found his way to the end zone from the 7 to cap it. He'll bring it back from inside his 5. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, we'll see what the plan is for this Northern Illinois offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat. And it's picked off. Didn't really have room to operate on the return, but he hands him the ball at the 32. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. Excellent field position here for the offense. Here's a quick throw out to the left. Yeah, and he runs a quick out route. And this is a timing route. Quarterback has to trust him, throw the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. Quickly to the tight end. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. And the Cowboys headed quickly to the line. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. The Cowboys will snap it on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. He makes the connection. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. The running back has it. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Movement here from the tight end. 
They'll run play action. Caught most of the marker. It's Huffman. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Well, the field goal kicker can step away from the net and go sit down and grab some water. They're not, not going to need him just quite yet. That was a great play call. Throwing the ball on third and short in field goal range to get the completion now setting up first and goal. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. They love to make this short field pay off with a touchdown instead of a field goal, but it's third and goal. Unleashes to the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And he'll try it from the right. Hash and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And now the lead is extended a little far. just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the return man reaches the end of the line and down he goes. The Northern Illinois offense ready to go back to work. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet. But I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. He's got his man, and he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Northern Illinois will line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. Slips through the line, and the returner is stopped. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Fast motion from the offense. They'll try the run. Gets it past the marker. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Might as well give it to him again. Found that crease, and they knock him down after a pickup of five to the 32. And the Cowboys want to move quickly. Looking to throw on second down. Finds his tight end. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. This offense looking at a third down after that last completion. From the gun, wants to pass. Pulls it in. And the ball's on the ground. He's got the ball, and he'll try to pick up a few. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. They'll throw it on first down. Well, we knew coming into this one, the tight end was a big part of this offense. You've seen it early in this game. They've moved him around. They've thrown it to him in a lot of different ways. Defense is going to have to make some adjustments trying to stop this guy. He wants it all. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Wide receiver shows motion. They're going to throw it again. Makes the catch. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They lost ground on first down, now second and goal from the five. The option look. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four as they come to the line on third down. Already two for two on this drive, going for the hat trick and the score. 
Fires to the end zone. And it's a touchdown. It is also a play in which there is a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They'll send out the kicker here. And he's made one already, and this one ought to be caked from 21 yards out. He got it. And that lead grows even bigger. Starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. On the run from inside his own five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. First down for the offense. Give to the back. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 16. Got three on first down at second and seven. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. From the gun, wants to pass. Got him downfield. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. The Huskies want to pick up the tempo. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Fires to the right. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Couldn't find his man last time. That leaves him with a third and six. Trying to get to it. And the defense gets to the quarterback. We haven't even gotten to halftime yet. This offense has their hands full trying to keep this quarterback standing up straight. They've already given up multiple sacks. That's the biggest reason why they're trailing by as much as they are. They better go in at halftime and make some big-time adjustments. Northern Illinois will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Catch is made at the 15. Cover guys do their job and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Cowboys! Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. How efficient have they been as they extend this lead here in week five? And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. Ready to try the point Victor after. Is on for the extra point. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Texas is on the ropes, and it's like they're looking at their corner and saying, no moss, a real bloodbath today at DKR. They're trailing by 14 to Tennessee. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Going up top on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Here comes the offense on second down. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. This one's complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. He wants to throw it again. 
and he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. Just a small return, but a big play as they have it now at the 45. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got so many playmakers on the perimeter, David. Just find a way to get these guys the ball in space. And you already started, man. Making that big play, opening up this offense. This quarterback is feeling good about himself. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it right back to him. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Inside the 15-yard line. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pad their total just before halftime. He's looking to pass. And he really wanted to get the touchdown there, but it's incomplete. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. He's got his man. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Third and goal, where defensive coordinators have to make a stand. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Cowboys. And at this point, they're just rubbing their noses in it. There's nothing positive to be able to take away from this. You got beat down, you move on to the next game, start working on the next opponent, this one's over. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Northern Illinois takes over as the offense heads to the field. Trying to find his man on first down. It's complete to the right. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Off play action. Steps away. They bring him down, but not before he gets just enough to move the chains. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. The quick out. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. On second down, wants to throw it. They're bringing heat. Looking deep down the right side. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a magnificent game there so far in Stillwater. And it's been a battle of wills between these two teams through two quarters. Bend, but don't break. They've managed to neutralize the explosive playmakers on each side by shutting down passing windows and providing tight coverage. Forget the Jimmies and Joes. This second half could really be about the X's and O's. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Boone Pickens Stadium. Northern Illinois will kick it away to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Oklahoma State has it back and the offense is on the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been hit. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he's tackled, but there's also a flag on the oh, field. Let's see what the call is. 
Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. They'll go to the air. Coming after him. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. That last completion sets him up on second down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Nifty run there. Pick up a six out to the 25. So they're facing third and short from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking toward the sideline and a nice job to keep his feet in bounds. The Cowboys getting set on first and ten. It's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there. It's now a fresh set of downs. Offense took a little bit too much time at the line there. After the five-yard step-off, first and 15 for this offense. Wide receiver now comes in motion. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Offense gets set for second down. From the gun, the ground game. And he's brought down, but a flag is also down. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. He's back to throw on second down. Fires to the tight end. They bring him down with a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. First down here for the offense. Pulls it, fired complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Quick strike complete. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. I love having guys that have the ability to make something happen after they catch it. Simple hitch. And he's running in the open. Lowers that shoulder, delivers the blow. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. How about that? His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. That's number two. They better start playing some better defense. And number three is coming soon. PAT unit on the field. Smashes it through for the PAT. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing, Roughing the kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the Number deal, nine. and the coach accepts That's it. They will foul. take the penalty. Line gets set. First down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Find space on the right. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. One big play to get it up near midfield. Now they're in business at the 47. On the run, it's Fields. Oh, it's out. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. I'll tell you, honestly, I don't know what that player could have done to hold on to that football. That defender absolutely popped him. He knocked him into next week. There was no chance he was holding on to that ball.
Guys, we'll see what the plan is for this Northern Illinois offense. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Hits him inside the 20, still going. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. And they take it in for six more points. Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You, you got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. On to attempt the try. The kicker on for the extra point. Blitz the upright. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Navy is currently trailing, but if this young star leads a comeback today, he could join former Heisman winners Joe Bellino and Roger Staubach among the legends to wear that uniform. It's a tight one right now. They're trailing by only five to Notre Dame. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Trying play action. Throws to the wideout got his man to the left and he's brought down after a nice game and the Cowboys have it for the first and ten they'll put the tight end in motion if you like the stats and I know you do he's over 400 yards passing down yeah if they win this game he's getting the game ball there's no doubt about it this guy has been on fire from the very start of this football game he's been throwing bullets all over the field he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. Operating in the red zone here on second down. In the red area, it's Fields. The Cowboys get it past the sticks. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. A productive play is one that gets you at least halfway to another first down here on first and ten. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll give it to the back. Give him about a yard on the play. It's down at the 10. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They've got him looking wrong, but they're going to throw it. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. And the beatdown has ensued. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Northern Illinois offense ready to go back to work. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. Nice job to get it past the sticks, and they get him down at the 35. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one, and all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he's got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. 
really has the ability to spread it around and now over 300 yards still some time left and he can put up even bigger numbers and heck go chase some awards man get some postseason awards get an all-american just put up a day northern illinois will line up to find it away well the defender got his hand on that one tipped it up in the air and offense man they're lucky that one wasn't picked He'll try to field the putt and bring it back. Looking everywhere for room to run, but really good coverage, and he'll step out of bounds. Quick release by the QB. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Oklahoma State has the lead here. This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. He'll keep it himself. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. Here's his offense with a fresh set of downs. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Trying to beat the D deep. And he reels it in inside the 30. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. And the Cowboys are moving quickly down the field. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing... Touchdown, Cowboys! And the pummeling has started. They extend the lead here in the fourth, and after stumbling early, about to push their record to 3-1. and one. Man, really nice job attacking the middle of the field. You see those safeties, man, I want to split them. He splits it right down the middle, throws that post right on the numbers, catches the ball in the end zone, touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. On the move from inside is five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Northern Illinois takes over as the offense heads to the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. Another interception. This guy just can't find his own players. Not the biggest return, but he sets him up inside the red zone at the 19. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. The offense lining up for a first down play. He's gonna pass. Got it! Touchdown, Oklahoma State! And the stomping has commenced. That one puts them in really good shape to get back on the right track and get another W. This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding this right zone. Yeah, it just gets in the zone, right? When you can't miss, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making him feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little bit confused. You can't just let him pick you apart. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. 
Trying to start the drive with a pass. Snagged in the middle. It's Thomas. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the court. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I gotta make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing it straight. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Northern Illinois back to work after picking up the first down. He wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. And the incompletion brings up a second down. He's looking to throw. It's caught. Brought down at the 21-yard line. A 15-yard pickup, and they are in prime position to get points now. Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open. Couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Northern Illinois putting together a threat in the red zone. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. And that's a really good job by the defense, because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing bold, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. After putting up a three-spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, give on the inside. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line. Pick up a four. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Now the play fake. He'll throw it. Intercepted. Got room on the return. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Reese, I know you're a little bit of a front runner, so you probably would quit. You actually, you'd probably sub yourself out and take yourself out of the game. But I like that they're continuing to fight. Keep fighting. You never know what's going to happen. Actually, you know what? I know you're not going to win, but it doesn't matter. Keep fighting to the very end. Offense making its way under the field to start the drive. To the ground with the back. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. He'll pull it on the read. Got some room headed to the goal line. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Yeah, and listen, that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight, continue to keep competing because this game is over. Like, we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. You powered in for the touchdown and show your kids that...
No matter what the score is. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Utah State is currently up big right now in a game they'll be talking about in Logan for some time. They're up by 21 over the astronauts. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line. Pick up a four. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. They'll knock him down after a six-yard gain to the 27. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. Motion from the offense. The play-action fake. Fires to the wideout. Serious arm strength on that third down pass, but it's incomplete. The Cowboys decide to punt it away. I mean, sometimes you overthink it. Sometimes running the football on third and short with the lead is not the worst thing in the world. Keep that clock ticking. But now, decided to go for it, setting up a fourth down. And this looks like a situation where you should punt the football. Comes out throwing on first down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. He's looking to throw it. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After misfiring, it's second down. He'll just keep slinging it. Oh, he drops it right down the middle of the field, and he couldn't make the play. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. And that is his fifth interception, a nightmare he is not waking up from. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. Keep up them pass rushers. Bringing them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game. the passer like crazy i'm gonna put all those dbs back playing the pass that's what happened great job understanding they're gonna have to take shots we get the interception this one's almost over oklahoma state has it back and the offense is on the field this is quickly turning into a celebration jesse as they've taken control of this game and they should feel good about how they've played they knew they had to come in here protect home turf they've gone out they've run it well they've thrown it well david really so much that this coaching staff can be happy about. yeah and now it's about stat padding right like you could just put up more numbers you know this game's pretty good don't turn it over don't make a mistake but this game is well in hand they bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal to the ground to try to move the chains. He just needed a yard on third down, and there just wasn't any room to pick it up. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Pope. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. And here we go. Final play of the game right here. Cowboys. 
with the run on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, this one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield, and they did splatter them, an absolutely dominating performance. You've got to give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick. All three phases we saw, just spectacular football. No mental mistakes, David. You really can't play better than that. Nah, it's, it's really fun to do this. Come out and just dominate opponents. Start from finish. Um, nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. You're going to do you. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.